Da, 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 da. Oh, hey! Oh, I wanted to show you guys the brand new iPad controller for vMix available on the App Store. And I also wanted to show you camera control with the iPad. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Let me zoom you guys in. Um, so here I have an iPad uh, with the brand new vMix control surface app. And on this side I have um, just vMix running in, in a window here. I'm going to go ahead and remove this lower third just by t touching the button. So let me first show you the iPad kind of in more detail and then what we'll do is we'll actually use a camera control for this to actually control a camera. So this is such a cool iPad interface. I'm so happy with the way it came out. Of course I didn't design it or anything but it's super cool. Alright so you can stream, record, and do full screen and external. And I'm going to move over here so that we can get a nice close up of this with our really nice Canon camera because I think there might be a little glare. Um, so you can literally, with a touch of a button, click stream to la start live streaming, hit record. You can go full screen um, and you can do external. So if you're a vMix user, you know those are like the four kind of cooler functions there. And I always forget to start recording uh, during my live shows. I always just stream. So this is great. You can have a second. This is another great thing about this, by the way is giving you the ability to have multiple people working on the same video production. So in our live stream, I have Tess helping me from time to time, and now she can have her own iPad controller to just do a couple extra things here and there as needed, you know, when needed, for example. So, um, the o let's start over here. So these are the overlay functions, and really quickly, I'm going to I'm going to actually just use this fader here to show you whoop fading between two presets. What I have in my preview and what I have in my output. I can just fade between those. Now, really quickly, one of the things I'm going to overlay on top of this video and show you is that we can do IP camera control, but what's brand new in vMix is called UVC camera control, which is actually camera control directly over a USB connection. PTZ Optics supports this type of camera control, and we're going to use that to control a camera that I have in this room, and then set up multiple vMix presets where with a click of a button I can control the camera and actually not have to worry about any really camera control otherwise. So let me actually go to this preset here. So one of the things I have here is I have a main cam, I've got cam 2, and then I have PTZ 1, 2, and 3 and these are actually, um, these, these inputs here are actually preset presets on the camera. So when I go over here and use my touchscreen, now of course you don't need this iPad touchscreen to use that functionality inside vMix. vMix even has a web browser input that makes it free and easy from any touchpad. But this iPad, I'm, uh, I'm not quite done with this, this is a really, really powerful system. So first of all, I guess let's just keep digging into this. So we have the overlay channels here. So the way that works is you can see that each input has a name. And in order to really use this properly, you really should name every single input with a short, maybe eight character name. Because if you get too, too many characters, it just shows a dot, dot, dot. Um, and what you can do is you have four channels of overlay. So you have channel one, channel two, channel three, and channel four. And you can choose the channel that you want. So for example, if I want it to come up on channel three, I choose channel three. And then again, I'll just overlay that um, number six, which is my, my title. So just by clicking that, I've overlaid it on. And let's just double check to make sure we're right here. Channel three. It's a little small. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but channel three there, and I'll just go ahead and undo it with a click of a button. Channel three there just had the overlay. So, so it's really, really powerful stuff. So now let's look at the camera control. Uh, well, actually, let's finish the iPad. Um, so this is quick hot swapping to program. So for example, I have cam two. Very quickly, I'm going to switch to cam two. Boom, cam two. Okay. Now I go back to cam one, that's program hot switching. What we can also do is, is actually move the camera to 
preview mode and that will actually control the PTZ of the camera. So for example, I have a preset on this screen here, which is pretty nice. So what I'm going to do, I probably should have had that the whole video like that, um, is I'm going to actually um, go ahead and use the T-bar to switch between these two. See that? So the way, the best way, one of the absolute best ways to use camera control, we get this question a lot, if you have multiple cameras, is not to be panning and tilting and calling presets on your main camera. Your main camera should usually be a static camera, and then, or, you know, a, 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 the ability to maybe slowly pan and tilt and zoom is okay, but um, you want to do most of your panning and tilting with your secondary camera off screen, all right, so in preview, which I'm doing here, and you can see I can have change the PTZ with a click of a button in preview mode. And then I can go ahead and fade to it. So again, let's, let's go ahead and let's put it up to that, that PTZ pillow there. And I'll use my fade to black to fade to camera two. So that's really the professional way to use multiple cameras. Um, that's kind of a, a no-brainer. A lot of people know that. So we've looked at this. So very, very simple kind of video production key elements, the things that you need. The stream button, the recording button, the full screen button. We didn't talk about the transitions here. Uh, vMix supports multiple different transitions. And in the center here, we have, you know, the ability to select, you know, four different custom ones. And then we've got a quick play and a cut. Well, the ones that you select in these top four here, so I have Merge, Fly, Vertical Wipe, and a Stinger, um, those actually show up right on this iPad right here. So if I want to do a transition of a Merge, you can see that just did a Merge just by hitting the iPad. If I want to do a Fly In, that's number two. And then number three is a Vertical Wipe. So we can very easily do different transitions and you can customize those in your, your main vMix. This is just a control surface. You can't change those, you just change those in the vMix setting. So again, we've got overlays and you can control what channel of overlay you're using. We've got your quick program selects, you've got your preview, and then my favorite is a volume audio mixer controller. I don't even know if I mentioned that this app is only $5, by the way, on the iPad store. So to make a control surface is incredibly powerful. Look at that. Imagine if you've got six or eight volume inputs. You know, we have this problem all the time where somebody's audio is a little too high, a little too low. Happens all the time. And this is literally a better looking audio mixer than the one in vMix. So... It's a really, really great um, system. You can see here you've got A and B bus control. It looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 different uh, audio levels that you can be looking at at the same time. Um, and that's really, I think, the majority of it. The only thing I didn't mention is in the settings tab, one of the things that you're going to have to do, and if you can, Tess, make sure we get this on the, on the screen here, is to connect the control surface to you need to go into your vmix settings and you have to go to web controller and get the ip address of your um vmix session so you can see here that in the ip address of the um the ipad i've entered v the vmix web controller IP right, cool. address. That's Same. really important. Once you've done that, you'll see a little check mark and it'll be connected and it will now pull in all of the information from vMix available on a touchscreen iPad. I mean, it really doesn't get much easier than that. Uh, it doesn't have to be an iPad uh, if you just want to use the IP address in any web browser, any computer, which is really nice. Um, but this iPad interface really makes it nice. Um, I'm a big iOS guy. I love I iPads. So this is an awesome app. I love the fader. I love the touch capabilities. Great job. Uh, we'll put a link below on how to get this $5 app for an iPad. Um, and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I got some vMixing to do. Click to watch another exciting PTZ Optics video and don't forget to subscribe. Tune in Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern to join our live show with new industry experts interviewed every week.